very, very highly classified government project that is ongoing and that affects every man, woman, and child in this country. People need to know what is going on. He also sent me some documents. He faxed them to me that verify everything he said. These documents are classified material. There are some white papers from the Department of Defense, from the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency known as DARPA, also from Naval Intelligence. There's also a document from the CIA. And I've looked over them and I've, I've, I've familiarize myself with them very very carefully over the past few days while we're trying to recover this information needs to be released to the public and what what that information is is this in 1995 our government commissioned a project to place into the public water supply into the into the public food distribution system a a very small device a, a nano sized device with a microprocessor is an electronic device and it is about the size of one or two grains of sand it 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 took years to develop, but they developed it, they perfected the technology, they tested it. And as of today, according to their estimates, 85% of the population has one of these devices inside of their bodies. Now these, you could say you're infected in other words. You have been infected with one of these devices. They're incredibly small. They can barely be seen with the naked eye. They have to be removed from the medium that they are suspended in. It could be food. It could be water. But if you take it out and if you put it on a table, preferably a, a black surface, and you look at it, it you're going to be able to see it. It's very hard. It's opaque. But let me put it this way. You'd never know it was there. If you've consumed it, which you probably have, as I said, 87% of the population has one of these in their bodies, right, as presently, as, as the military has estimated. <sighs> okay, so what is it? Why did the military develop this device and put it in the water supply and try to basically infect the entire U.S. population with it? Well, it's a very simple device, folks. It is designed to kill you. It is designed to terminate you. That's what it does. It's very simple. It doesn't really do anything else. Well, how does it kill you? It goes something like this. It is, again, the size of a grain of sand or so, a little bit bigger. It is a nano device. It contains a microprocessor, it contains a receiver, and it, rec it can receive a uh, transmission, radio transmission. Once it receives this radio transmission, which is very specific, and can all, it, it's, it's something, it's a, let me put it this way, it is a frequency that is only our military uses and only knows about it's not going to just be randomly activated while you're walking down the street uh, so it's activated by this signal now how do they do it well their cell towers cover 98 percent of this country in terms of coverage cell towers radio towers in addition to that our military has uh, spent about five years setting up proprietary system, excuse me, that of coverage, not in addition to the cell towers. So what they've done in any large population center, they have installed transmitters, 
uh, very small and they're in strategic locations and they cover every block of every large city and even small cities and this has been set up over the past five years. And the reason they want to do that is they want to be able to target these populations very specifically in a very small locality. Okay? Now what do these devices do? Okay, they kill you. How do they do it? I don't know fully, but what they do is it induces flu-like symptoms in the body. It causes the body to release antibodies that, in addition to causing flu-like symptoms, it will cause your body to produce antibodies that are uh, indicative of a flu uh, virus infection. You will die within 10 to 12 days. The effectiveness, as what they call it in their documents, is 98%. That means 98% of people with which this device is implanted or uh, they are infected with this device, once it is activated with a radio signal, 98% of people are dead within 10 to 12 days. 2% recover. And the recovery reasons are not fully known. It is uh, often outside influences. It could be uh, a malfunction of the device. Right now our military wants to get it to 99%. It's at 98 right now. Basically, if this device has been activated in a population area, let's say they use a cell tower to send a signal out. You're going to see everybody around you, including yourself, sick with a very severe case of what appears to be the flu. You will go to the doctor. They won't be able to help you. It will continue to get progressively worse. Your, your lungs are going to fill up with fluid. In fact, that's going to be a symptom that will be very pronounced in all of these cases, and there's a reason for that. That is because the device it enters the brain and it activates certain autoimmune responses that are indicative of a severe case of the flu. And this response is sort of like a runaway nuclear chain reaction. In other words, it causes your body to just absolutely melt down. So, again, it's very effective. It has been shown to work in 98% of the cases, and most of the time it just looks like a very bad case of the flu. <sighs> a couple things I wanted to address before I go. Again, with this information, it's of the highest order of urgency. I hope you share it with family and friends. I hope 